Hi, I'm Cecilia, a senior strategist at Pert & Sum. Today I wanted to talk to you about this little tool that LinkedIn Ad Ads Manager has that's called Website Demographics. So assuming that you have, you're currently running ads on LinkedIn and that you have a LinkedIn Campaign Manager, um, when you first enter, you're going to enter in this a view of campaign performance and then you're going to see all your campaigns listed here. But if you notice to the side, there's a tab called Website Demographics that if you click on it, it's going to give you a view of your site demographics, your site visitors, um, or for instance, the visitors of your site that are purchasing. It will depend on the conversion events that you have set up. In this case, I am comparing website visitors with purchases. So another cool thing that this little tool helps us with is that you can cut this data based on job function, job title, company, industry, seniority, etc. So it's really cool to see, you can really segment in different ways depending on what audiences you're trying to find out, target, etc. So if I click on job title, right, I see that all of these people, president, owner, chief executive officer, are coming to my site. Uh, but if I look here, and then I can see, for instance, that, you know, presidents are the ones that come the most, and they also purchase a lot, right? And then owners, the same. But if I toggle here at time period percentage change, if I, I can find out, for instance, that presidents actually, although they're my biggest audience, they've been dropping. And owners are dropping visits, but they've grown in purchases. Um, the same for CEOs and general managers. But if I toggle the opposite way, I learned that there's all these different job titles that are actually growing that could be a potential audience for me to target. So I have managers are growing visits and purchases, director of operations, sales managers, managing directors. So that's just, it's a, it could signify that's an interesting audience for me to keep an eye on. Another cool way to cut the data is based on companies that are visiting your site, uh, especially if you're a B2B um, company. That is super interesting, super interesting because you can find out what companies are kind of keeping an eye on you. Um, in this case, let's assume company A, company B, company C, D, and et cetera, and you can see the amount of so company A is doing the most page visits on my site and also not necessarily the most purchase. It's this little one here that it's a mystery one. I'm not even going to count how many letters I would take to get me there. Uh, another way to slice the data is based on location. So you can see um, where your audience is coming from. What's the, again, if you toggle here, you can see that your audience has been growing in Boston and Atlanta. So that could be super interesting. And that is it for today. See ya.